Hi. Now in this example, what I'm going to show you is how we can find the remainder when the polynomial 4x to the power 4 minus x squared minus 8x plus 6 is divided by 2x minus 1. And to do this, what we use is the remainder theorem up here. That is, if you've got a polynomial f of x, and we're going to call this our f of x in a moment, and if it's divided by ax minus b, ax minus b, which is this value here, then the remainder is given by f of b over a. So what we do is let's just first of all define f of x as being this polynomial. So we'll just say let f of x, always a good habit to get into, f of x is identical then to 4x to the power 4 minus x squared minus 8x plus 6. Now to calculate that remainder then, the remainder is given by putting x equals a half into here. Why a half? Well by the remainder theorem you can see that the a corresponds to the 2 and the b corresponds to the 1. So you get the remainder by doing f of b over a, so that would be b which is 1 over a which is 2 f of a half. So we need to do f of a half. Another way of getting that value by the way, a half, is all you've got to do is just put this value equal to 0. If you put 2x minus 1 equal to 0, you'd get 2x equals 1 and x would equal a half. And that's the value you put in. So all we need to do then is substitute half into here. We've got 4 times a half to the power 4 minus a half all squared minus 8 times a half plus the 6. And if you work that out what you're going to get is going to be that remainder. And that comes to 2. Leave it to you to check that out. Now you could have done it um, by algebraic long division but it's quite long if you do it that way if you divide 2x minus 1 into your polynomial. Here's the remainder here, 2, and you can see that this way is a lot quicker. Alright, so hopefully you're happy using the remainder theorem then. And that brings us to the end of this example.